Cycling with asthma. Asthma is one of the most common health issues people have in the UK and which for some can be very intrusive in their day-to-day -day life. So why do people get asthma in the first place? The exact reasons why people get asthma is actually still unknown to science, but there are certain triggers which can cause asthma to develop. People with asthma have swollen or inflamed and sensitive airways that become narrow and clogged with sticky mucus in response to certain triggers. Genetics, pollution and modern hygiene standards have been suggested as causes, but there is not currently enough evidence to know if any of these could do actually cause asthma. So who is at risk? A number of things can increase your chances of getting asthma. Having an allergy-related condition such as eczema, a food allergy or hay fever, these are known as atopic conditions. Or having a family history of asthma or atopic conditions. Having had bronchiolitis, a common childhood lung infection. Or exposure to tobacco smoke as a child. Or your mother smoking during pregnancy. Or being born prematurely before 37 weeks or with a very low birth weight. The triggers of asthma. Asthma can be triggered by different things like infections, like cold or flu, allergies such as pollen, dust mites, animal fuel or feathers, smoke, fumes and pollution, medicines, particularly anti-inflammatory painkillers like ibuprofen and aspirin. Also emotions including stress or laughter. And the weather can play a role, such as sudden changes in temperature, cold air, wind, thunderstorms, heat and humidity. And of course, mold or damp. And of course, unfortunately, also exercise. So what to do before you start actually cycling with asthma? Firstly, always make sure your asthma is well controlled by taking your preventer inhaler regularly. Plan a route which is realistic so you won't exhaust yourself too much. A short beginner's ride is best to start off with. If you feel a bit wheezy before you start, use your reliever inhaler. Don't wait until it gets too bad. Always make sure you have a working reliever inhaler with you just in case, even if you feel really good on the day. If you ride in a group, consider informing someone to let them know you have asthma. If it's a group ride, always inform the ride leader. And then, last but not least, be realistic about how much exercise you can do, as everyone needs to build stamina. So what if you need to use your reliever inhaler regularly while cycling or exercising? If you have to use your reliever inhaler regularly, it is a sign that your asthma is poorly controlled. You might want to consider visiting your GP and let him know that this is the case. Usually they will increase your preventer inhaler dose or prescribe a different preventer altogether. If you feel you are not getting anywhere, insist of being referred to a specialist to get properly tested, diagnosed and medicated. Don't wait until your asthma gets completely out of control. Correctly treated asthma should rarely give problems and you shouldn't have to use your reliever inhaler on a regular basis. So let's look at the adjustments you can make to your bike. Even with asthma, you can get very fit and cycle in the same way as anyone else. But it's important that you start slowly. Consider cycling in a low gear to begin with and slowly increase to a comfortable point. Start with a short route and slowly build up the distance you cycle. And consider an e-bike, as e-bike users still get 80% of the exercise you will get without the e-assist. But you get additional help when you need it like climbing up the steep hills, or when you're really tired, or when there's a lot of wind coming into your face. So what to do if you have exercise-induced asthma? Exercise-induced asthma in itself actually doesn't exist. It is usually just a symptom of asthma that is poorly controlled, or if you're without prior training, you try to do too much at once. If you follow the advice of starting exercise slowly and you still feel your asthma gets triggered on a regular basis, speak to your doctor. And stop cycling or take a break if you feel too easy. It's really important that you speak to your doctor though if this happens regularly, as it shouldn't, and it means that you are not properly medicated. It's always good to insist to see a specialist 
GPs are quite reluctant to refer you, but make your point and stand for it. Because it's your health which is really important and that should matter most. So a cycling a better exercise than other types of exercises. Cycling is a low impact sport and which is especially suited to start with when you're having asthma. The pressure it puts on your airways can be controlled very easily by adjusting the way you cycle. You can try to avoid hills and use lower gears to make it easier. A lot of high endurance professional cyclists do actually suffer from asthma and cycling can slowly increase your overall lung capacity. Exercise is recommended when having asthma as it strengthens the body over time.